Hello everyone, in this video I will demonstrate a beautiful sliding login sign up form using React and Tailwind CSS with cool animations. Before we dive into the code, let me show you something cool. Looks smooth, right? Whether it is a large desktop screen or a tiny mobile, these animated background and sliding forms just work like magic. And this is the medium screen view. But how is this done? Is it animation libraries? JavaScript tricks? No. It is pure Tailwind CSS, smart positioning, and a bit of React state logic. Let's start with the start of the show the big animated circle in the background. How is that animated circle formed? It is actually made using Tailwind's before pseudo element. I am actually using Next.js with the app folder structure, but you can use pure React.js as well. This will work perfectly in both. Now this is our page.js from the app folder where everything starts. Inside the main parent div, I have added a before pseudo element and that's how we create this animated circle. Of course, you could use a separate div for the circle, but using before pseudo element just makes it cleaner and smarter. Think of it just like a child of the parent div where uh, the content, the before pseudo elements content is empty. So as the content is empty, empty, we must uh, give it a position. So the position is absolute. So as the as the child div's position is absolute, the parent's div, div's uh, position should be relative uh, so that uh, the content is visible. Uh, from there, it is very simple. We give it a width and a height round it to a full circle add a background color boom we have got a huge background circle ready to animate we can make the circle visible uh, by decreasing the height and height and width uh, of the circle temporarily uh, let's put uh, something like uh, 900 px height and same for width also and see if we can see the circle clearly yeah now you can see we can see the visualization of the circle clearly and this is how the circle forms okay so let's summarize the whole process of the circle formation uh, we have used uh, before pseudo element to make the circle and the initial content and the content is empty so as the content is empty to vis uh, to visible the before pseudo element we have to uh, position it to absolute and then we have put uh, height and width so this is 1500 pixels for uh, medium and small screens and we have set uh, 200 pixels for larger screens then we have uh, made it uh, rounded um, by 50 percent it is actually rounded full then we have put background color you, or you can say <coughs> the circle color this is the whole circle formation process this blog explains the whole uh, explanation of the uh, sliding login sign up tutorial so no worries i will put it put the link of this blog in the description you can see that the circle moves sideways so now let's see how it is done when the user clicks the sign up button each sign up mode becomes true and then the circle moves sideways uh, by this uh, css translate x full so it is translating horizontally from its original position so that is how the circle moves sideways and if we see the medium screen or you can say small screen views we can see that the circle moves horizontally sorry the circle moves vertically so for the vertical uh, movement uh, we have used uh, translate y full to uh, move the circle vertically from its original position so it is actually the whole process is done yeah. using the translation css yeah with tailwind css this moving part is also mentioned in my blog uh, very clearly like uh, the translate class is responsible for this movement uh, it is um, it, it is down or sideways so translate y full is responsible for the vertical movement so for the down movement and down and up movement and the translate x full is responsible for the horizontal movement uh, actually the sideways movement so it is for the larger screens and 
the vertical movement is for the medium and the small smaller screens so that is how the circle is positioned uh, and also animation is smooth because of the transition css so transition css allows duration so actually duration two seconds uh, means the transitions takes uh, two seconds and for the larger screens uh, i have set duration 1.8 seconds so actually transition features uh, allows duration and it animates the movement smoothly that's why the transition class is used and if you want to know more about the positioning or the translation transitions type c type things all are clearly described and with uh, described with examples in this uh, blog link you can also view it as well i will put the link in the description now let's see the initial positioning of the circle and the positioning initial positioning is done through the top left bottom right type css cl css classes so uh, initially the top minus 10 percent is uh, applied uh, minus 10 percent is applied to the circle for larger screens so it moves the circle slightly apart from the visible area so it is right now for minus 10 percent the circle is in this position so if we change it to like 90 percent so it will be uh, more upward uh, from the visible area so as you can see the circle moves upward 90 percent from the visible area but we don't need it we need minus 10 percent then the right right uh, 48 percent uh, push the circle a bit from the right so from the right side it pushes the circle to the left so if we uh, uh put uh, like uh, 98 percent so it will be more left from the right so we don't need it actually we need 48 percent so that is how the circle is positioned perfectly now for the left positioning we have used left 30 percent so the circle moves uh, 30 percent uh, right from the left so actually it is for max lg so first of all we have to know what's the difference between only lg and max lg so if we see the only lg part uh, the breakpoint is one zero to four pixel so if we put only lg this will be applied for the screens that is uh, one zero to four pixels and upper uh, so it will be applied for the larger screens but if we put max lg uh, it will be applied for the screens that is one zero to four pixels and less so it will be applied for the screens that is smaller than the larger large breakpoint so left 30 percent what it does the left 30 percent moves the circle 30 percent right from the left so let's see it so uh, so it is for the uh, screens that is not larger so we can see that if we change it to like 70 percent let's see what happens you can see it moves 70 percent right from the left but we don't need it we need 30 percent then similarly we have used max md so the breakpoint is 768px so this left half it is similar as left 50 percent it will be applied for the screens that are 768 pixels and lower then similarly all other positions are similar you will and you will get understand uh, by just looking at it so also in this part this part also uh, clearly uh, mentioned in my vlog so you can see and here uh, translate y half uh, there is a negative sign so it is uh, it, it it moves the uh, circle vertically upwards so y half means it moves the circle 50% uh, of its own height to upward then uh, for max lg screens uh, we have used translate it translate x half it is also negative so it is moving the circle to left uh, and uh, and it is 50 percent x half means 50 percent so let's see it so for the L lg screens if we remove it you can see the positioning is here so if we want the element to be upper we have to set negative translation of y half so half mean, means 50 percent and in the same way if we move to um, the screen that is not large so we have used translate x half and it is negative negative means left move so if we remove it 
the circle is here so if we want the circle to be left by 50 percent of its own height then we have to put minus translate x half and the circle is here and this part is also mentioned in the block now let's see when each sign up mode is true how the translation is done so in this blog uh, i have uh, i have uh, described it uh, i have described it very clearly now let's see how the movement is done when each sign up mode is true so it is uh, clearly mentioned in my blog so uh, when uh, each sign up mode is true this uh, css classes works um, lg before translate x full so translate x full does slice the uh, slice the circle all the way to the right on large screens and then translate y full for the vertically movement vertical movement so it uh, the moves the circle vertically down when not in large skin then right 50 percent is the position uh, bottom 20 percent left half you can see that the circle is moving uh, like a wheel but actually it is not moving like a wheel the circle feels like it is rotating or rolling like a wheel but it is actually an illusion no real rotation is happening here there is uh, it is only moving horizontally so as the circle is big and because of its positioning it feels like it is moving like a wheel or moving like rotation actually there is just horizontal move now let's see how these forms and the images slides with the circle so initially uh, when is sign up mode is uh, true both the forms are positioned left one by four and when is sign up mode is not true it is positioned to left three by four so both the positions both the forms positions are same so either it is left one by four or left three by four we just uh, make it visible when needed like when is sign up mode is true the sign in more sign in form should be mm, should not be visible so the opacity is set to zero and in the same way when the sign up form uh, when is sign up mode is true the sign up more form should be visible so the opacity is 100 uh, otherwise the opposite is zero so that's the uh, there's the whole process of, uh, of the uh, sliding forms so let's go to the visualization here we are seeing just the sign in form but the sign up form is also here but the opacity is zero so it's the this position is actually left three by four uh, when in sign up mode well, only the sign up form is visible though the sign in form is also in left one by four this is the left one by four position but uh, it is not visible the sign in form is not visible because of the opacity to zero so that's the whole process now let's see how these texts are moving like new here and one of us these texts are moving how so if you see carefully these text positions are fixed new here texts are slightly left from the center and also the sign these texts and the button and the one of us texts are uh, in the right side the positions are fixed but when we click this one of us text moves uh, right uh, right side of the screen out of the screen and when we click on the sign up button this text moves uh, left of the screen outside the screen so how it is done let's see the code uh, if we see the new here when is sign up mode is true there is a uh, translation of x minus 800 px so 800 px left from its original position that's why new here um, this one new here moves left 800 pixels left from the from its original position and it is going outside the outside the screen and in the same way if we check the one of us so this one it is moving 800 pixels right from its own position uh, on original position and that's why it is moving right uh, outside the screen uh, to right and uh, for the uh, smaller screens uh, then we, we saw that uh, here the movement is vertical so that's why translation is in y coordinate so that is how these texts are moving and the images for the images these are the same so okay so that's it all the other css in this tutorial is super straightforward nothing fancy 
I'll drop the full code on GitHub so you can check it out and understand it easily. The blog version of the tutorial is linked in the description. It is super clear, step by step explanation and with a live demo. Uh, also, the GitHub link will be there. So you must visit the blog. And honestly, you can follow the tutorial without even watching this video. Everything you need is right there. So just visit the blog uh, that is linked in the description and you will have the full explanation along with github repository and also the live demo so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more bite-sized tailwind tips uh, see you next time